Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. This is Troy Vars. The knowledge tip today from CS3 is automation notifications. This tip is all about getting more triggers in your ERP processes. Today we are going to talk about doing automation notifications. Under your menu, select System Management, All Items, and then Automation Notifications. You will need to select the screen ID that will trigger your automation notification. In our case, I will be using the invoice screen in AR. give our automation notification a description something nice concise and simple you're not sending a report only an email so go ahead and remove those selections by choosing none we will build our subject line by using the drop down select box in the fields that are located within it for example I select the reference number here and then go ahead and enter some text before adding the person that actually removed the document from hold. That way we know who made the change. I will then go in and build the body of our email with the text we want to be transmitted. Again, I select the reference number as that is a key piece of info and last modified. Then add a short message with sh further details. This message can be constructed of any of the multiple options for the transaction. It does not have to be limited to what I put here, but it is limited to the document type you are using. Note, if you make a mistake, you can copy or cut. Just make sure that gray area stays around your field. From there, we access the Conditions tab and set the conditions under which you want the message to be sent. In the example here, I'm looking for the value of hold status to be unchecked. Next, I set the trigger on the Fields tab so that when this field is changed, it will trigger the Send. We are going to add our email addresses that our email notification will go out to. You can select a specific user like Ralph here, or an email tied to your document. such as the owner or salesperson or even a customer. Here I copy carbon copy the owner of the invoice. I then add the person that made the last modification as a reply type. This ensures that if anyone replies directly to the email it goes to the person that triggered the event and not to our system account. This is a rather nice feature that Acumicro provides for us. I save and then do a last check through our tabs to make sure everything looks the way we wanted it to. From there we'll go ahead and run a test to make sure that everything is functioning as expected. I go into an invoice that I've prepared and take it off of hold. This triggers the notification to be generated. We can verify the format in System Management and look at Send Notifications. We have a new item that was removed from hold by admin, which is the case, which in this case is me. This notification will be sent via email by our next scheduled system job. In the meantime, we can look at the format of the email and ensure all the data is being filled in by the system by clicking the View Message button. 
and it is so success from here on out any items taken off hold will be transmitted was this video helpful click subscribe to see more videos like this one Thank you.